Exerts and welcome back to New Asia. I hope you guys are having an amazing day or night, depending on when you are watching this. This is your boy Exertion. All right, before we get into anything, I would surely appreciate it if you would leave a like on today's video. If you are new around here, go ahead and subscribe to the channel, um, and also hit the bell so you guys get notified every single day. If you guys are those overachievers and you guys want to support the channel even more, go ahead and check out the link down below in the description. It takes you to my, my social media. It's also on my banner and my about section. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much about it. Let's go ahead, um, not waste more time, go ahead, get comfortable, and let's get into this video. Alright guys, so we pretty much left off by smelting um, jungle wood and the planks into you know, charcoal. And then we were using the charcoal to smelt the um, cobble deep slate to uh, deep slate. And we're still doing that. I didn't do... Uh, anything off cam so we uh, like pretty much left off where exactly where we uh, stopped the video the last episode so we're gonna go ahead and start from um, where we left off I'm gonna go ahead and chop down this tree and then um, we are going to smelt some I'll pretty much make charcoal and then start uh, placing down uh, deep slate so then we can make these pillars a little more thicker and then we can start building our base afterwards. Um, I don't think we're going to have any time to be able to do our base just yet. So, um, like the last couple episodes we are just going to go straight into uh just working on the pillars until those are done and then we can go ahead and afterwards um in the future we are going to start building uh on the pillars now um that's probably going to be a while and i'm not going to rush it i'm going to uh, kind of take my time with this make sure that I'm doing everything how I want it to be so then I don't have to come back and fix it and we don't have an axe anymore so I'm gonna have to go and get uh, well go and make another axe can I please go down please thank you if you haven't la uh, seen the last episode I recommend watching that before continuing on watching um, today's episode, but um, therefore, just kind of a recap, if you, if you watched the last episode, um, we made a farm, and we've been working on the pillars, and pretty much exactly what I said just a moment ago. Is what we uh, what we were doing all right so do I have any more iron just enough for a axe we're gonna have to start um, mining because I'm going to need to get some more iron pretty soon now um, I don't really know how long I'm gonna be um, how long this series is going to be but I do know it's going to at least be until um, the wild update. I'm planning on uh, well, continuing it way after the wild update, so no worries about that. It's not going to be like it's going to end because of the major um, update has ended. And... Uh, Actually, you know, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna make a like a special video for um, my future plans on other videos that I'm planning on doing here in the near future. So uh, stay tuned to that if you guys want to know what's going on with the future and what my plans are. And if you have any ideas, I pr practically say it like in every video I make. Um, give me some feedback down below um, 
you're always welcome to give your guys this feedback if you guys um, pretty much want um, improvements or like not really improvement but I would say like just change if you guys want something um, some type of content that I want to make uh, uh, some type of content that you guys want me to make I'm gonna go ahead and put these plants and uh, all these saplings down okay you guys are actually starting to get on my nerves This is ridiculous. I'm gonna have endless stuff with slime, so I might as well start like making um, slime blocks or something. Like honestly, I should just start combining them and just making slime. Um, blocks. I don't know what I'm going to use it for. Maybe for like transport of getting up and down in certain areas maybe. I think that would work. Yeah, I have a lot of slime balls. Like too many honestly. Okay, now I should be able to put these saplings down and then grow another tree and you guys know the process all right so while that's happening I'm going to start expanding the water a little bit more might as well do multiple steps at once. It doesn't hurt to do that. And um, hopefully by the time we're done doing this, a lot of the deep slate is smel uh, smelted. So then we can go ahead and work on the pillars. I don't know if you guys are on Twitter or if you're um, subscribed to any other uh, YouTuber, oh, well, Minecraft YouTubers, but there is a, there was a beta not too long ago of these, well, of frogs and then uh, a parody change for Bedrock, so then Bedrock pretty much uh, were able to um, heal a iron golem with a iron ingot. So it shows like the cracking uh, uh, emotion, well, animation. I was, I was about to say emotion, um, well, emotion, um, but animation, the cracking animation, and pretty much you can uh, heal the um, iron golem with iron ingots. Um, so that's happening for Bedrock now. It was already on uh, Java, so now it's officially on Bedrock. Which should have, uh, like, I mean, I would have thought that it would have came out a little bit sooner, but, um, I mean, I I'm happy that it it's here. But, uh, anyways, I'm getting off of subject. Um, and also, there was frogs, and then they make frog sounds now. And then there's tadpoles, and I guess they are supposed to make tadpole sounds or something. But every video that I've watched, um, there wasn't any sounds that they were making, so I don't know what's up with that. But um, there's also, if you feed a frog, and the variants matter because there's different um, things that you will get out of it, different... Um, variants of an item pretty much what happens is if you feed a frog a uh, magma cube you end up getting a new uh, light source block it's called frog lights or something like that um, I'm not really for sure what the, uh, the different colors are called but uh, there's like a brown one there is a 
purple and a green. And oh, these guys are gonna start getting annoying. But anyways, um, I wanted to do something with that with this base. That's what I, like I, why I was starting to talk about the, uh, all that um, is because I want to do something uh, with that and therefore maybe have that as the light source. I was thinking about doing this room lights before, but now um, at some point I might want to do the frog lights. I think just how they look is like kind of... I want to get off the vibe of like um, mythical kind of like a mythical forest kind of thing kind of deal um, and also with water so um, this is probably going to be the like maybe the last layer maybe because if I'm going to be doing like this um, like forest kind of thing I want it kind of be like kind of like a swamp but not a swamp it's gonna be something completely different and then um, the trees are going to be in the water as well coming out of the water and then on land and then on the pillars are gonna be like my, uh, my base and it's gonna be connected uh, from bridge bridge to bridge and I, I I just think the whole entire um, idea of it is going to be really cool, but to get these frog lights, <sighs> sorry, it's going to be a pain in the butt because pretty much obviously you have to feed a frog a magma cube, so you either have to bring a frog into the nether or bring magma cubes out of the nether. Um, I feel like. It would be easier to bring the magma cubes to the overworld, but if I want more efficiently and be able to make these uh, frog lights a lot quicker, then I'm going to probably have to bring the frogs inside the nether. So that's going to be more um, difficult because I don't. I'm probably going to have like go in the nether first and see like what's up what am I getting into what biome I'm in and go from there but I'm gonna have a build like a some type of farm in the nether so that I can keep on getting these lights jeez why am I always yawning Sorry about that, guys. I don't know why I keep on yawning. It's like every single time I record, it's always something. I'm always yawning or um, sneezing or my nose itches or you get the point. But yeah, I think this is the last layer that I'm going to do. I don't think I'm going to do any more than this. This is actually starting to come together. I can see everything how it's gonna look I'm probably gonna have a start like I'm probably gonna have to make a couple pillars like just make my own because there there's like none in this like area so I'm probably gonna make one in this area right here Now I'm going to have to go over here on this side and then continue it over. And then it should just build itself like, like how it's doing it right now. I really love that feature. I don't know when they introduced that, but I don't think that there was ever a thing back in the day because I remember filling up a bunch of things and it never like filled itself up so pretty much what we would have to do is put dirt underneath the layer and then put water the uh, the layer that you want it to be and then delete the uh the dirt and then it will fill the hole with water that's how you would have to do it back in the day 
the early ages of Minecraft. It's kind of weird saying that. Back in the day. I mean, 10 years ago, Minecraft was a completely different game. So. There's a lot of improvements, I can tell you that. But anyways, uh, what are you guys feeling about the wild update so far? What, what have you seen at um, Minecraft Live? I was going to say Minecon, but um, during Minecraft Live, what, 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 what do you feel about it? Do you like it? Is it... Um, do you not like it? Do you think it's not enough you think it's enough for an update um, I feel like we don't know everything obviously we don't know everything that's going to be coming out for the update I don't know if it's only a couple things or if it's like like if it's gonna be a big update like um, the nether update and the caves and cliffs I don't know or if it's gonna be a smaller update but do you think it's going to be a bigger update? Do you think it's going to be a small update? Me, personally, I think it's going to be like a mid size range kind of update. It's going to be obviously bigger than... I feel like it would be. it's going to be bigger than the, the aquatic update. But it's going to be smaller than the caves and cliffs and the, the nether. Which kind of sucks because there's a lot of a lot of biomes. Probably all of them needs reamped. My opinion, like every biome needs reamped, needs um, more life to each biome, make uh, each biome more unique, add a bunch of different uh, mobs, um, and especially mobs like the um, like the firefly, stuff like that. That's just for as, um, for the just pretty much to bring the, um, the biomes to life make it more like something actually lives in the biome than just a solid um, colorful blocky place so who knows what's going to happen who knows what's going to, uh, to be released I mean any content is content so um, they are reamping uh, some biomes, so there's that. I don't know how how much though. I, uh, like we got a look uh, uh, at um, the swamp. We don't know. Uh, I don't know if there's gonna be any mobs that are in the swamp biome, other than like the frog and the tadpole. But they like spawn in different biomes, not just. They're not exclusive to a certain biome. So I'm not for sure exactly how that's going to work if it's just going to be the frogs and tadpoles. I have no idea. But other than that, um, I think it's gonna be pretty good and the LA, I think the LA is going to be, some people think that it should be summoned, I don't, my opinion, I don't agree with that, I, I don't like that, I think it should be, it should spawn in certain, uh, uh, well, certain biomes, some people think that it should yeah, spawn in the uh, Mushroom Island. I don't really agree with that either. I think that it should uh, spawn in the uh, widow. I think that it was called the the flower biome. I think it's uh, uh, it should spawn in there. Hey, I'm gonna go ahead and start working on some of these pillars, and we're gonna come back to the the water in a moment. Okay, I wasn't able to bring that pillar all the way up. But um, it's a decent start. And 
looks like I do need to finish that pillar too. And then do this one. And then I think the pillars on uh, that one back there too. And then maybe start off that one. And then other than that, maybe the one over here that I was talking about. But other than that, I think that's about it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do this. Fill in the last bit with water off cam. And then I'm going to go ahead and go to my outro. And then... Yeah, I, I think this is a good um, spot to end. And uh, the next video, I will show you guys. I will show you guys um, me f uh, after me filling it up, what it looks like. Which I think you guys get the picture. It's just gonna be another layer higher up with water. But uh, I'm gonna show you guys anyways, just so then you, if you guys want uh, want to see it. But I'm going to go ahead and go to my outro right about now. Alright, exerts. if you guys enjoyed today's video, please leave a like. If you guys want to see more content like this, make sure that you subscribe. After you're done subscribing, if you guys are new around here, and I mean, if you've made it to this far and you haven't subscribed, go ahead and do so. Uh, and also hit the bell so you guys get notified every single day. If you guys are those overachievers and you guys want to support the channel even more, there's a link down below in the description. It's also in my banner and my about set in my about section. It takes you to my social media. And that's pretty much about it. Uh, I hope you guys are having an amazing day or night. And I will see you guys in the next video. And it's all about the game.